Hey, how's it going, guys? I'm just going to give a quick class on uh, how to use the uh, great big can. Um, last night I tried something new. Um, I tried doing like a fawn in distress or a fawn that's lost um, with this. Um, but everybody knows how to use this can. Um, put your finger over the hole on the bottom. Put your fingers on top of the breather holes over here. And just tip it upside down or right side up and you get the move. If you move your fingers, you get a different tones. Sounds like mama. Mama. Well, I watched a couple of hunting shows and uh, I noticed that they were doing this. Pull gently to the bottom of that hole right there. Last night I kind of got in a desperate situation where it was getting late and I didn't hear any deer. So I said, you know what, let me try a fawn, uh, fawn in distress call. So I did that for about five, you know, a couple minutes, and uh, needless to say that uh, I had a doe come in. Um, I'm, I'm guessing that they were already on their way towards me, but hearing that, that fawn call, um, it made her jump over the brook, come off of their normal path, and it created some action. I mean, some snort wheezing and running and stomping back and forth, back and forth. Um, I kept trying to do it to try to get her to step into that 40-yard mark because I she was at 47 yards, but she would not come in any closer than that. Um, but needless to say, it worked. I saw a deer. Um, I've had a dry spell over the last couple of weeks. I haven't really seen anything, and um, it worked. Um, I don't think I'm going to try this again on these same deer because they know what it is now, or at least I think they know what it is. So I don't think I'm going to try. I'm going to use this again, but at least it gave me an idea of where they were so I can move my stand a little bit closer in on them, and uh, hopefully I can take one of these beasts down. So, um, yeah, thanks. Leave a comment.